What's up, fellow Lords of Gaming? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. Sorry I've been away and didn't get any updates on the uh, new uh, July. <laughs> this is weird to say July, but since we're half the way into August, but July update. We finally got King the Conqueror, and I wanted to give you guys first impression of this new native tier 3 character that we have in the game. Um, don't really have a whole lot to say about first impressions for the Luna Snow um and mysterio uniforms i think we were all <laughs> off the mark there and thinking that mysterio was probably going to get a tier four for which he didn't um <laughs> and then luna snow gets a uniform and if you didn't think she was going to be og peak of the level then i don't know what game you've been playing but it's luna snow she was clearly going to be uh top dog uh as for kang what we get for kang um Finally unlock you basically got to play play Kang, uh, you know five times uh, Each for two days and you'll get the ten bios that you need to basically unlock the character now Buyer beware. I think so the good thing is with a character like Kang is every person is gonna get this character um, Because it's just available to you. It's it, it's just a matter of how often you can complete um you can complete these new levels so just just keep that aware that i think you know king's not necessarily a difficult boss he's just like annoying he's the same same way that gene is annoying you know like that's essentially the way i look at the characters like when you play gene and you play king they have some mechanics that just annoy you like you saw just now with the um with my run against uh with thor he just does some annoying things where he pops out of place and your character doesn't necessarily track on the movement and it just becomes a little bit annoying. But native tier three Kang. Now the good thing about Kang getting his tier three now is that we still knew we have Kang Dynasty coming up um, and potential other movies with uh, Kang coming in. So at some point we're more than likely to get a uniform for this character and a tier four as well with the phase five of the MCU that we basically have. So little excited about having Kang inside here but I wanted to do this video for you guys to try to go over some of the looks of the character inside here more more or less right because um, I think it's gonna be it, it's it should be an eye-opener to any players that haven't uh, exactly played with Kang or you know done a tier 3 native tier 3 upgrade before it's it can get really you can get really expensive guys just so i think you need to brace yourself if you're just gonna if you don't have the resources especially if you're looking to tier four um luna snow be very mindful of the fact that that he he's he's gonna he's gonna be really expensive now overall let's take a look at the character uh character kit on a whole so in terms of leadership king's readiness uh he gets an increase all basic attack in there that's a uh, 55 percent that's going to be at top level it's 30 percent right now but it's going to be 55 percent and then all allies gets to remove all debuffs on there so that's pretty nice especially since his leadership extends um the the all increase all basic attack by 55 only applies to self so it's, it's a little weird that when he's debuffed or when you know activation buff is when debuff then it applies to all allies to remove debuff i was like what i don't know if we have other characters that have that i'm not as like keen like cynic alex and beast Boat where i can just pull up that information but yeah his passive however uh temporal resurrection he gets a 50 percent chance to penetrate shield all damage immunity invincible effects and then when he's dead he revives for 100 percent of max hp so you're more than likely gonna want to get this character up to tier three and with the debuff effect and with the temporal resurrection he's probably gonna be a other world character that just gets slated inside there so just be aware of that um but it is a nice effect especially for pvp um and you know he should be good there king's fury he gets an increased additional pierce damage by 5%, which is nice. The increased skill damage by 40 and 40, which is nice. And then decreases the basic damage received by 40. So that's also nice. I, I, I like that kit in there overall. So Conqueror's Sword, there's not a whole lot in this at all, really. It's got bleed and paralysis. I mean, it's cool because it removes elasticity and also has the ignore, ignores immunity effect on it. But not a whole lot in his first, his first skill. His two, though... 
His two has a nice little counter attack on it, so I like that. He also gets the time freezing on there, and we don't see very many characters with that, and this is for four seconds. Um, now, I wish that this ignored immunity as well so we could see if it worked against the bosses, but no, 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 Anyways, but he gets the stun. He does get to remove active buff from target for incapacitation, so you see why he's going to be good for, um, for PvP, right? And then he gets the paralysis, which ignores immunity as well. And then you can see here, he gets the recovery inside there. This is a little little small recovery effect that he gets. 15% HP and then 100% chance to grant all damage immunity, which is good. Um, his third skill, which is time, space, dom domination, burn, silence, paralysis. He gets barrier, which is weird to see at this point. Uh, it's eight times. And then he, we get his accumulations of pure damage when attacking. Um, so that's good. Uh, then we get the fourth skill, Inescapable Fate. Um, I'm really weirded out by this one because you basically just get the you get the damage accumulation, right? But then on three, and then you roll into this one for a really simple frenzy buff of 45, 1, and 30. It's like standard template inside there, right? Um, and then his fifth skill, uh, not a whole lot to write home about this one either because it's just invincible on his fifth skill. It's kind of weird. And then he does get his tier three skill, Declaration of Conquest. I like the name of that one. And we get the ignore targets dodge rate, the invincible, and increase the all basic attack, which is really nice, right? So let's preview some of the skills because I'm really interested to see how the skills look. I did already see how they look. Um, so I, so like we're not going to rotate into one very often, right? That's just what it is. Nice little gap closer. Good hits, I guess, if you wanted to basic bake off on that one but it's a nice little gap closer inside there two i wasn't really impressed with the skill and be perfectly honest like i get it that this is a uh counter attack skill so you'd have to turn on the um combat settings put the ai on and then hit the two so that way you can essentially see what happens with it and why am i not triggering the counter let's see all right we'll time this down there we go okay so, I don't know, not a whole lot there on visual effects for Kang on his two skill though, you know what I mean? Third skill, we get a little bit better on his third skill. Um, not too bad, but let me change, I keep forgetting to take this off. I wish they would just default that off. So one, we get the two, then we get three. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not really feeling the three skill at all. Four, we get that four skill inside there. We've seen that skill before. Now, the good thing about that four skill is that it is V pad. So, always love a good V pad skill. You know what I mean? This fifth skill, uh, Dom Doomsday Light. Nice little rain down, but we've seen this skill before. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen those falling meteors. <laughs> and then, uh, let me make sure that the VFX is on. We get his sixth skill inside here. Immediate damage the multi kings and then the rain down of beams while king does his thing and just blast it's definitely a good tier three visual i always just hate the fact that we turn off the vfx skills for that and then you just you know you lose out on all of the visuals for the skill basically that they definitely put a lot of time into um yeah, it is what it is so let's take a look at the combo inside here three five four of course the accumulation five for the um i guess the invincible effect that you want to get with the all defense down and then four is where all the skills basically pay out for you right so three five four really simple combination um that's all is it that's all okay that's all it hits so then we get three, five, six, four, three, five, six. A little bit of delay there on that one because of the six skill needs to play out. So not bad. I was expecting a little bit more hits there, but okay, okay, okay. okay. So speaking of hits, that is one good thing that I do want to bring up immediately is that um, Odin inside of this update did get uh, his his uh, uniform was fixed or yeah his uniform was fixed so I guess they didn't really do much to fix it except that his four and five skills um, and his uh, striker skill his his tier four um, those were improved with just the number of hits on them 
So just pay attention to that. Nothing else changed. It was just the hit count has been increased. So it's made him even more of a monster than what he was. I guess there's questions to whether or not that he's actually bugged with getting the support there, but only time will tell. So let's take a look at Kang inside here and look at what it's going to cost you. So we can see I'm starting off here with roughly 227,000 in gold. Um, I'm resource loaded for some of the things that's going to be required to do this. So not too big of a deal, but you know, I think your biggest drawback is going to be your access to uh, Universal Records. So uh, <laughs> yeah, Universal Records, uh, Titans Records. So the good thing, the, the bad thing is essentially that when you're looking at this is that Kings, uh, you, you got him at tier three, so you only got to hit the six stars on there. There's no way you can use any resources to get it. So we got to combine some cosmic cube frags. So hopefully you got enough of those. They're not really hard to get anymore. So um, yeah, they're just not that hard to get anymore. So I, I I don't think there's a real big reason to complain about this anymore. So let's combine those. You can see it's 1.5 million already. That's a lot. <clears throat> did I not auto? <laughs> I thought I thought I did. Okay, I did. Okay, okay, okay. So got to rank up that mastery. Ah. I wish there was another way. I wish there was another way. All right. <laughs> it is what it is. So this is going to be the most expensive part about leveling up King is um, resource allocation here, guys. Like uh, essentially you're going to be burning down on some black antimatter. Um, just be aware of that. Right. The cost to basically get this character up is going to it's going to hit you hard. So we've got the six out of six cosmic cube frags. We'll rank up. That's 1.2 million. It was so we're looking at 2.7 million alone just to get him to one rank. Um, yeah, it's gonna cost you guys. It's gonna cost you. It's going to cost you. So now we need five of these. Um, so let's go in here and we'll get the five that we need. Uh, we'll auto combine them. So we need. We needed five of these, so five, four million, three, four point three million. Okay, not bad at all. This is well, you know, just me saying that. Um, still bad. So we got to hit that mastery again. Uh, so more universal records. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out of universal records, and I'm not gonna be able to hit the max because I believe you need like twelve of them. I can never remember. It's been a while since we've had to level up a uh, one point eight. Wow. Um, it's been a while since we had to level up a character to a uh, tier three, a native tier three. So forgive me if I don't remember exactly how many books it was in total. So we needed four of these. Oh, nine million. Expensive. All right. So hit that mastery on him again. With another additional 720. These books, baby. These books. I should have probably, if I'm, if I was smart. If I was smart, I would have did this before. I would have uh, leveled him up. Um, or, well, I guess there was no way to do that, really. Um, before I started playing the, uh, I was thinking about it. I was like, well, maybe I should have just played uh, World Boss um, Legend after I got him. I was like, you're a freaking idiot. You couldn't, you couldn't possibly do it. How many of these? Three of these? Okay. Combine materials or combine. One, two, three. Ooh, 15 million. Ooh, we. Not playing. I told you guys, it's, it gets pretty expensive um, to hit these level tier threes, uh, native tier threes and native tier twos. So hit another level. At least it does. I, I could have sworn I remember it costs us so much more for like black antimatter and um and the likes of these thought it was so much more than this Oops. yay 31st century mastery uh, yeah i'm gonna run out before i can hit these so we're gonna combine materials here i think it wanted two of these jack forgot okay two of these combine materials auto combine we need two of you. There we go. All right, so we hit the mastery on this one, and you can see the universal records there is enough if you have ten, ten of them 
to get him to level five. So that's going to be a problem, right? Um, so let's go back to materials in here. We'll use these and then we'll go for the rank up and get the two. Ooh -wee. We'll share that to the lines, let them know your boy's working. But now the problem that we run into is that we are out of Titans records. We have no more Titans records in terms of universals. So what you're going to probably have to do if you're a free to play player, and this is how they basically net in on, you know, getting players to spend money is that, you know, you want to get him to tier three, uh, level 70 as quick as possible. And you're going to end up having to pay for these universal records. So that way you can basically do it. So for the sake of content, stand by. So just to give you guys an awakening for this so that way you understand what your players are going to have to do your cheapest option more than likely to procure any of these is going to be your tier 3 titan record booster um, you're allowed to do that once a week and it's going to net you immediately 3 of the titans records and then you get the boost basically the bonus for these so if you are going to go about that route where you want to accelerate your play just make sure that you're going to level up a lot of um, tier threes so that way you make the most out of getting these boost uh, for the day that you're going to use them um, there are other options inside here to get your boost records going higher um, so you can do some of the relay fat relay uh, kit chest and things like that um, inside here which you know you're wailing out beyond whales measure at that point um so then if that was the case you really don't need me talking to you about it so like the king the conqueror special you can get some of the bio uh, books immediately inside there um you could get them from other places in the game as well i just think that that's going to be your cheapest route to doing it so just beware all right so got our titan records inside of here yay all right, so what we need to do is take go back, take a look at Kang, basically. Um, <clears throat> where's my man at? Kang. Kang Daddy. So we have him here. He is a universal character, so we're going to make sure that we need to have these universal books inside of here. Let's go back in our inventory for our inbox. Where are you at? There we go. So we need universal books. Where are you at? There we go. Pretty sure we were short three, right? So that's how you know that the uh, game is essentially tailored for you to, to get those. Now, something that I didn't check, I wonder if they, I don't think that there was a way to get, nah. It would have been nice if they did an event for him and you could have just got the books from there. But mm, alas, I'm pretty sure that would have been too much to ask, right? You gotta gotta get that 19.99 out of the dolphins and whales pocket somehow, right? And that's it. So then we can go into our mastery. Uh, I guess I went too many over. Oops, didn't need all of those. Hmm. It is what it is. Um, so we can finish the level up process inside of here. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot. So we do get back the 20 and 60 inside of here. This is where it's going to get really expensive, though. So <laughs> we get really expensive in there. So we've got Kang now inside of here um, at level 60, tier 3. Um, got to still pay. You can see I'm already down almost, what, what was that, 86? So let's say we're at... 158 we start at 227 this is expensive i mean you're almost essentially looking at 70 60 70 million in gold there and we're still not done with this with, with this character um gotta max him out gotta hit the max on this on this dude Whew -whew. see the record cost on those oh no I forgot about that. So, all right, let's go back and network. Oh no, what did you do? 
have had that happen now since this update about three or four times. Now, I can't, I never really try to blame the game necessarily because I am using um, blue stacks in order to do this, but man, it pisses me off. All right, so we don't need that anymore. All right, go back into King. That's what I, I, I want you back into my teen window. Let's go back in here and get King. All right, King. Here we go, Daddy Mackum. So let's get his ESO up. What the fleek is going on? It's like there's an error code for just trying to hit his ESO 8 on him. Let's see if that happens again. I'm wondering if anybody's experiencing that problem. I'm going to probably end up having to check it on my phone to see if it is. Let's see if it does happen again. Team, let's go back in here. I hope that's not a bug in the game. It could just be blue stacks acting up. So Kang does have an artifact, obviously. And his artifact is going to give him uh, increased ba basic damage dealt to superhero faction uh, and increased basic damage to super villain faction by 20%. So not a bad, um, not a bad one there at all either. I'm still wondering and pondering what I'm going to put on him for, for gear just because I don't really see using him inside world boss legend um, because I just don't. Um, but we'll see. So, all right. So it's type we gotta unlock. Got that up. Character gear. Um, I want to try this without touching his. Oh shit! I didn't realize. I didn't. I didn't max. Max out the upgrades for this. Fuck. Fuck you, me. This is gonna be expensive. We gotta hit the max on this dude because I want to take him for a spin against himself. You feel these upgrades, man. You feel them. I feel them in my pocket. I feel them in my resources. Oh, man. So this is what I mean by, like, if you're going to go after Luna Snow as a tier four, and you're also going to go after Kang, you better be prepared. Like, this is, this is not a... I would consider myself a veteran player and I have a veteran account and man, my pockets ain't this deep. So, <laughs> so don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> no, he might not even, you know, have everything that he, he wants for you or you need, especially like at this point right now, you would have to stack him up in terms of universal tier threes um, that in the game villain, especially obviously. And whether or not he's absolutely ne necessary for your account uh, should be the ultimate determinant. But, you know, I I'll leave that to you. So we've got. So let's see what his details look like right now. So, again, this is mostly my cards uh, that's doing this for me. Cooldown duration is a little low. Critical rates a little low. We can come into the character gear. Take a look. His dodge is up. So let's take a look at his dodge numbers. A little over 8.1. So I could probably. I could probably go and change this option and go crit rate on that one. Okay. So we're at crit rate now. We can take a look at the details. He's just a little bit shy underneath on dodge. We can make up for the dodge in other ways. That's not too difficult to do. The crit rate. <laughs> we'll have to see how we like the character overall, but not difficult. You're not going to be able to use any first potential realization tickets on this character, so you're not going to be able to do it. Um, let's see if I still have this uh, bad business over here. Yeah, some error. All right, give me a second. So I'm not sure what's uh, what's going on here because um, there seems to be a bug. I don't. Um, I've tried it on my phone and I've tried it on my computer. And uh, I tried it on another phone, and for some reason or another, 
going in to try to set the ESO 8 on King seems to be driving a network error issue that I can't resolve. Yeah, I can't resolve it. I don't know what's going on there, but I just simply cannot resolve the network error issue inside here. Um, let me see something real quick. And what I want to see is if I go in here for ESO 8 and no, so I'm not having any problems here getting into the ESO 8 uh, to play around with the window. But for some reason with King, I am having the trouble whether I've used two different S23 phones and um, and try to do it on um, Bluestacks and on um, what's the other one? Can't remember. But it just doesn't seem to be allowing me to do it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back on using that one. I, I'm really unsure what kind of gear to give King. To be perfectly honest, when I'm unsure, what I usually like to do is to go in, take a look at people's profile to see what they're using. That's usually an easier way, right? So CTP of authority. Uh, who, 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 who would have not thought it, right? CTP of authority. So if you can usually, what I, I tend to do if I'm like one to know where I should be investing in terms of those is usually easiest to just pop up on, you know, the top 10 builds for there. You do have to be a little bit careful sometimes because like you see Vicky Curry over here, he doesn't have the... What you call so you just threw a level 20 freaking Gwynpool on top of there like it's like and people will do that just to get the max score on characters i don't tend to do that but you know that's the ctp we'll, we'll throw a ctp um on to i think yeah i have a mighty ctp that i can put on him so we will equip that one equip the custom gear there we go i'm not going to re-roll the stats at all you can see what the stats are here um, so we've got, uh, yeah, we've got King. I'm not going to put any Uru on him. So you can see I went from 227 to 122. So nearly 105 million just to get him going. And I'm still not exactly, you know, this is nowhere. He doesn't have a uniform. I feel like trying to re-roll this is just going to cause more issues. Short shit network error code inside of here. So what I want to do is I'm going to probably do a separate video. You guys can see the expensiveness of what the character is. What I really want to do is I want to take the character through the works for a little spin to basically see like, okay, well, this is what we're getting um, in terms of the character like at a build, but I can't set anything for him, which is problematic as hell right like i mean essentially you should be able to have this so all right we'll finish out with the with kang um in this video by just setting his character gear now <clears throat> this is a native tier three character i typically like to amplify this just so that way i can get to four of the um four of the slots at a minimum and then uh if i really like the characters and i plan on going deeper with them then I try to usually amplify up to four slots, uh, five slots um, in holes. So, but like the four is good enough. So I'm probably losing out on some gold here. It really depends on you, how you look at that um, overall. But, you know, like if you do them singles or if you do them doubles, you know, or multi repeat. So that's only three. I'm not gonna really stick around with just threes, uh, especially for native tier three character. If, you're just gonna stick around with threes and goes less than four amplifications. Your models will not even be leveling up the character. <laughs> like, just think about the investment that way. Like, are you gonna use the character multiple times? He's probably gonna be a character you wanna throw inside of a team at the very minimum for PvP, other world battle, or um, normal PvP as well. So, just think about that way. So now that we have all the four slots amplified, you can go back and you can take a look at his skills and you can see he's doing energy damage. Now pay attention when you do it because make sure that it's not like physical attack of en or energy damage of physical attack like the way like Thanos is. So that way you don't equip the wrong Uru um, onto the character. So essentially go back onto the character and so you know it's gonna be energy. Um, so I know I need to basically essentially equip some uh, Uru onto uh, 
to him to get him maxed out on some stats, right? So I'm gonna essentially come inside here and beef up his energy and stuff like that by in order to do that by coming in here and doing what I'm doing right now. So for instance, I'll come over here and I've got some energy attack gurus that'll be easy to stack on the king. Now, remember that when you do Odin's blessings, for instance, I can only do one. So I'm just gonna bolster up his there and then we'll go another energy attack here yeah 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 now <clears throat> you'll see a lot of times people will just throw on all types of those because you get the highest boost from these Odin's blessings I'm not doing that so essentially I, I'm gonna equip one more skill cooldown so that way I can make sure that that's maxed out and then what I'm gonna look at over here is his where was I there it goes the energy attack six stars on there and I'm gonna put two of these on here now I could go with an additional energy attack which I think I'm going to do meaning I've got another Odin's blessing that has energy attack energy attack so I'm gonna do that and then I'll go back here and I'll put on two energy attacks on there so his first one is all kitted out with crit rates, energy attack, and we've got quite the working of energy attack inside there. Do two here, two here. We'll go. Oh, I was in the wrong window. Oh, he already has two energy attack there, so we'll go back to this one. Two energy attack here. And then his fourth tree, we already put two energy attack. So essentially, I've popped out the Odin's blessings and you know given him as much as the Odin's blessing I want to because I do envision King is probably going to end up with his tier four before the year's out, um, and I hope that he does. And even if he doesn't, he's probably going to be a really powerful tier level, uh, tier three level seventy character in my vision, and he's probably going to be meta inside of the pvp scene so can't hit the type can't hit the iso for whatever reason is going on there just can't hit it so we're gonna leave it alone for now um custom gear we got a mighty ctp i haven't re-rolled it i know i could re-roll these and get some better stats so you can see um decrease all damage received by 30 or increase all basic attacks and defenses by 20 um it's going to be de completely dependent on you you can see my critical damage isn't that high it's 35.8 he still keeps the guard break immunity and then he has that so it is what it is we're going to put that on there what i want to do with kang is i want to see how well he's going to perform in a team of his own so we don't need this anymore uh we don't need this team anymore so what we're going to do is we're going to put kang uh up to his own and Kang can be his own leadership, right? Since he applies the buff to himself, Kang only needs Kang in that that, that sense, right? Um, and then uh, what I like to do is look at, um, no, that's not what we want. We want support type characters, that's what I want. So we want support type characters for, the, for, for my man Kang. So it's all allies. <laughs> support characters that have useful massive effects uh what the fuck <laughs> it's like yeah these characters have useful passive effects so what i want to do is i always like to try to find some thematic teams to put the characters with um yeah i always like to do that but it's gonna be hard to i can't pull this off the top of my head right now um, for which characters would be thematic for Kang right now. Mm. He's, none of these characters are really thematic to him. Like, that's the sad part. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go with that right there. Like, I think that's what we'll go with. Yeah, I don't think that's as thematic as I intended it to be, but... So, let's go to World Boss. We're in training mode, so let's go back to King the Conqueror. I don't expect him to be able to do well on stage two for King. Let's see. So four or five. Get rid of this team. I'm gonna say either 
Is he gonna pop up in my leaders? How does Kang not pull up on my universe leader? So we'll go universal. Where are you at, Kang? Why am I not seeing him? He is a universal character. For some reason, he's not pulling up inside of my universal field unless I am batshit blind. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I can't use him here. Okay, never mind. So what we'll come back to do is once I get him unlocked for his level 70, I'm such an idiot. Then I'll try to test him out in there against himself. So that way we can see what he looks like inside World Boss Legend against one of the uh, characters where he is. Hopefully they fix whatever's going on. I don't know if other players are having the issue. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.